A Zedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. Oh, why do we have to take astronomy? It's not even magic. Hello again, Adelaide. Any word of your uncle? Still nothing, I'm afraid. Off on another adventure, are we? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. 
But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. My hands are too cold to use a telescope. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the- Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. A pristine... Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Incendio. Poor cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Not this close to school, I mean. Look! There's the table! I think you should be on it. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart.
was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Incredible! Revelio. I get this key in there. Well, that didn't work. Leviosa. Akia. Lumos. Lumos.
Well, that didn't work. Incendio. Confringo. Lumos. Levioso. Levioso. Lumos. Confringo. What are you up to?
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Lumos. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Your things will be safe with me, until they're sold. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Quitego! Revelio! I shall get that goblin helm back. From your gold. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell. That's just painful. Oh, 
Incendio. Accio. Expelio. You don't want to try that again. Protego. Expelio. Predictable. Should investigate. Wonder who lives here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigod. Safer. And for that, I Revelio. Revelio. It's a good thing we have auras. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> Bye, my 
Revelio. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Wong. Save me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Akio! Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out for your mooncalf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garneth's mooncalf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
with a nice mushroom stew about Poachers? God, if it was right then. I got to be careful. It's incendiary. Do release Treadwell. My bite is my god. Bring her. Protego, Expelliarmus, Accio, Confringo, Incendio, Incendio, Confringo, Accio, Incendio, Confringo, that's the Accio, Confringo, Expelliarmus, 
Broken finger! It's a new. Incendio! Akio! Potato! You're the one who stole the goblin! Alohomora. you as biscuit. No, you don't.
do cooperate, won't you? No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Alright, let's get. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. Here's one of those tables Professor Shah mentioned. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? What will I do without her? Garnif, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble mooncalf. 
And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Whisket and I can't thank you enough. for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. A wise decision. Thank you. Meet, here I come. I know what that means. Merlin trial. This looks intriguing.
rocks have seen better days. Expelliarmus, confront them! Confringo! These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. 